I wake up thinking about the little kid in Africa who has to drink from a muddy pool of water because that's all is available to him. I think about all the people who in Yemen have contracted cholera because of lack of clean water. People in reservations in South Utah who have water problems. People in Flint and all over the world. And if we can contribute to solving this problem, it's going to be the biggest achievement of my life. My name is Baman Abbasi. We are at the Water and Energy Technologies Laboratory, which I established and lead. We have two large projects from U.S. Department of Energy on water desalination technologies and wastewater treatment. The former is a $2 million three-year award for us to develop a solar thermal-driven water desalination that produces only fresh water and only salt. The reason this is important is we want to save a huge amount of energy that is wasted on daily basis in water desalination technologies. We want to reduce the price of water, and most importantly, we want to provide the clean water for those people who go through daily struggle to provide uh, uh, clean water for their families. I've been working on voluntary works uh, in, in different parts in Africa. The smile you see in their faces by the end of the day is worth it. The latter project is a wastewater treatment project, a $3 million award from U.S. Department of Energy as well, to treat the water produced from hydraulic fracturing. Fracking wastewater is very difficult to treat um, because it varies based on time, location, and fracking company. And so you never really know what's going to be in your fracking wastewater. And so we're developing a system that can successfully treat that wastewater regardless of what's in it. Currently, almost all of that water is disposed of via deep well injection, so it's just sort of poured back into the ground. And um, we think that's a waste of water, um, so we're hoping we can reclaim some of that water for reuse. It's a big challenge and I really want to be a part of it. Here we are uh, an international lab. We are uh, here from different countries, different cultures, and they're looking at the problem from different angle, like from, uh, they have different view. To establish and to succeed in a multi-million dollar project that impacts the world, uh, no one person can succeed in performing that. As part of these projects, we have University of Maryland, Michigan State University, University of Nevada, and some other participants. So when I think about the work that I've done, I think about the success that we have achieved, I think about all the people who have been involved in this without necessarily being the front pages or taking credit for it. None of us could succeed without that extensive effort that everyone puts in.